Cropped is one of the most important paintings by a British artist of the last 30 years. It's the painting that kick-started Jenny Savile's career, and it's one of the most famous and iconic works of the YBA generation. This was a really exciting time for British art during the 1990s, and it really did put London on the map in terms of contemporary art. Jenny Savile was a huge part of that, and her work was extensively exhibited as part of Charles Saatchi's Sensation exhibition. Sensation being about the controversial artists of the 1990s, taking reality and putting it in front of the public as the subject of art was incredibly shocking. Charles Saatchi acquired this painting in 1992. It was then later bought by David Teeger, from whose collection the work is coming from now. David Teeger was an incredibly focused collector of contemporary art towards the end of the 1990s and early 2000s. And he nurtured the most amazing relationship with museums, curators and artists themselves and was a huge supporter of up-and-coming artists. The painting depicts a female figure sitting on a stool. That figure is Savile herself. And over the figure you see this writing inscribed across her. It's like it's cut into the flesh. So the text is actually a paraphrased section of an essay that was written by the feminist writer Lucy Arigare. If we continue to speak in this sameness, speak as men have spoken for centuries, we will fail each other. Again, words will pass through our bodies, above our heads, disappear, make us disappear. She's suggesting that women kind of perform a narcissistic function for men. And what Irigare is positing is that female representation, female expression, should be a celebration of otherness, not a celebration of sameness. Savile was very much taking influence from the tabloids and newspapers and how they represented the female form and in terms of being negative against body images that were perhaps less than ideal and she was taking that on and, and really looking to unpick it and give more empowerment to the way that the female form should be represented. From the way that she treats paint, the way that she handles the oil paint and her rendering of voluptuous flesh, it does pay homage to those artists from the past, such as Titian, Velasquez. You can't help but be reminded of Lucian Freud, Francis Bacon, those incredible painters of the 20th century who painted the female form. But instead of sort of depicting the female body as an object of the male gaze and an object of desire or eroticism, she really shows women as they are and as they see themselves. It isn't pretty, it isn't what you would expect. It's raw and it's overpowering and it's empowering. And that's definitely what she does in her paintings. She represents the female form from the perspective of a woman.